Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome to my brand new video. Today I am gonna tell you about how you will uh, calculate uh, unit root uh, test for panel data and how you will interpret the result. Uh, I will try to uh, tell you uh, step by step so that you can understand it properly. So let's get started. First of all, you can see that there is a data set which is a panel data. Uh, there is country, basically there are uh, 30, um, 35 country, uh, the year from 2010 to 2018 and there is GDP data, data uh, import data and export data. So first of all, we need to declare the data set that it's a panel data. So we need to go to statistics, then we need to go to longitudinal or panel data, then set up and utilities, declare data set as panel data, then panel ID is a country and the time variable is year. So you need to set that, then there is yearly data, then you have to click on submit. Then you can see that uh, this data set is panel data, data it has been declared. So after that you need to go to statistics, then longitudinal or panel data, then unit root test, you need to click on that. After that you can see that there are uh, six uh, types of unit root test. So we'll go to go on by on. First of all, we'll see Levinly, Levinly two test. So in that case, we need to select the variable. Then we'll select GDP. Then we can hypothetically select that lag specification that is on. After that, here you can see that panel setting. As we have already declared the data set as panel data, that's why we don't need to do anything here. But if we don't uh, do that before, then we we need to set the day, set the panel ID and time variable uh, from this place. Then you have to click on submit. You'll see that um, there is null hypothesis is pan panels contain unit roots and the alternative hypothesis is panels are stationary. Here we can see that P value which is on. That means the P value is greater than uh, 0, 0.10. That means uh, it uh, we cannot reject the null hypothesis so we have to accept the null hypothesis that means panels contains unit root as we can see that uh, this gdp data is not stationary at level so now we need to look at that if it is stationary uh, at first difference or not in that case you need to write gen space uh, you need to give a new name of uh, first differences of GDP that I am giving D GDP then equal to then D dot means the uh, first difference dot the variables name the variables name is GDP GDP so you should not give any space between them so then click on enter you can see that a new variable has been created that is first difference of gdp this one d gdp so now we need to uh, run again the uh, the root test for different first difference of gdp and we need to see if it is uh, if it is stationary or not then submit here we can see that p value is 0, 0.00 that means it is significant at on person level that means we need to accept the alternative hypothesis as the p value is less than 0. 
on zero and it is significant at on person level so we need to accept the alternative hypothesis that is panels are stationary level lean two test we can see that the gdp data is not stationary at level but it is stationary uh, at first difference another kinds of test we can run that is Harry's Travelis test. So in that case, here we need to again select GDP. Then we can yes, select any one of them. Uh, it, at this time, I'll select include time trend or you may not. So then submit. You can see that the data, GDP data uh, in this Harry's Travelis test uh, the p-value is on that means it's greater than 0 0.10 that means we cannot reject the null hypothesis so we need to accept the null hypothesis that means panels contain unit root so in this case we need to see that if it is uh, stationary at first difference or not so in that case if we um, again run the test in dgdp we can see that yes it is stationary at first difference as the p value is less than 0 0.10 that means it's significant at on person level so we can accept the alternative hypothesis that means panels are stationary now another kinds of test we can run that is this one we can select here another variable like import data we want to see if it is stationary at level or not in this case we need to uh, at this time we'll select include time trend then submit you can here we can see that the null hypothesis is panels contain unit root and the alternative hypothesis is panels are stationary as the p value is greater than 0 0.10 that means we can accept the null hypothesis so the null hypothesis is panels contain unit root so in this case we again need to run uh, the we need to see if it is stationary at first difference or not as it is not stationary at level so in this case we need to again create a new variable of first difference of import so in this case again gen we need to give a new name d import you can give any kinds of name equal to then d dot import the existing variables name that is import so then you need to click on enter here we will see that again a new variable has been created that is first difference of import data so in this case we need to again run that if it is uh, stationary at first difference or not as it is not stationary at level here you can see yes it is stationary at first difference as we can see that uh, the p value is less than 0.10 that means uh, we can accept the alternative hypothesis that is panels are stationary so here we can again see that this uh, import data is according to this uh, method is not stationary at level but it is stationary at first difference then if we run at another kinds of test that is impression test 
in that case import data we need to select import if it is a stationary at level or not you need to see that then again submit we can see that p value is less than 0 0.10 that means uh, the here you can see that all panels contain unit root that is null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis some panels are stationary as the p value is less than 0 0.10 so we can accept the alternative hypothesis that means some panels are stationary so uh, the yeah, according to ips method the um, import data is stationary at level so we don't need to run uh, the first difference data in this case as it is already stationary at level so and it is stationary at on person level then if we run another kinds of test here is fisher type test again the import on import data we can see that here we need to see or uh, look at this data inverse chi squared so here we can see that panel data is 0, 0.00 that means it is less than 0, 0.10 and it is stationary at on percent level so we can accept the alternative hypothesis that is at least on panel is stationary that means according to fisher unit root test the import data is stationary at level again if we run another kinds of test that is 100 lm stationary test on import data we can see that p value is less than 0 0.10 so here you can see that the null hypothesis is all panels are stationary and the alternative hypothesis is some panels contains unit root. This 100 unit root test is basically different from the other kinds of unit root test as the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis is opposite. Other kinds of test we will we have seen that the null hypothesis are that all panel contains unit root test and the alternative hypothesis is panels is stationary but in Henry um, unit root test we can see that null hypothesis is opposite that means all panels are stationary and the alternative hypothesis is some panels contain unit root test so as we can see that p value is 0 0.01 that means it's less than 0 0.10 so we need to accept the alternative hypothesis and we need to reject the null hypothesis so if we accept the alternative hypothesis that is some panels contain unit root so the according to this Henry unit root the import data is not stationary at level so again we need to run uh, on fast difference that means if it is stationary at fast difference or not here you can see the import then submit here we can see that the p value is greater than 0 0.10 that means we have to accept the null hypothesis the null hypothesis is all panels are stationary so here we can see that this input data is stationary at first difference according to Henry unit root test these are all six uh, uni panel unit root test in its data and in this way you can interpret the result and um, represent it in your paper these are all about panel unit root test hope you will like it if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel allah